Happy freaking New Year, everybody. Who all's on here? Guys, we're going to talk about New Year, new goals. I need to know if this connection's working. we got to change the scenery tonight. I'm at my house. I'm actually, in my it used to be my office area upstairs, but now it's my daughter's room. So if you can see me, let me know. If you can hear me, let me know. Chime in. Tell me what's happening. Tell me what your goals are. Let's talk. Let's do this. Let's get it underway. Who's on? Is the light flickering or is it just me? It looks like it's flickering. Why is my chat not up? Why is my chat not up? I can't see anything. What's what's happening? Oh no. Guys, I can't. I can't see the chat. I can't see the chat. What's happening here? Oh, there's that. <laughs> oh, what happened? No, oh, see? It's still giving me... Okay, I'm going to have to do this. I got to do a pop-up chat. Oh, guys, there you are. Here we are. We made it. <laughs> we made it. Dave, what's up? Kyle, what's up? Thomas, what's happening? Average fishing guy, what's happening? It is flickering. I want... I think it might be the lights. I think it is the fluorescent lighting and the webcam interacting with each other. I think that's what it is. Curl, curl the mustache. Dude, good work today, too. I wish I would have gotten a, an invite. Calvin, what's up? 405, what's happening? Is the flickering bothering you guys? I need to know if the flickering is bothering you. I think it's just the lighting. Whoa, dude, we might be on to something, Steve. Guys, we could be on to something. This could be my new shtick. This could be my new gimmick on YouTube. I could do this. I could so do this. Get that salmon. Dude, you are... Oh, I want to get that salmon. What's up, Pontiac? Anthony, what's happening? Dave, you want to land your PB this year? Just started back fishing in September of last year. Dude, that's a lot like me. What's up, backyard? <laughs> listen, listen. If the flickering's too bad, uh, there's... I, I we're, This is what we're stuck with tonight. So I'm sorry. If I'm going to need everyone to sign a waiver if you have a seizure. I am not responsible for that at all. I'm just going to keep curling this out all night now. I'm just going to start training this mustache. Dude, who all went fishing today? I know Backyard did. I saw that Instagram post. Who's following Backyard on Instagram? Dude, I was going to talk to you about this weekend, Steve. I was going to talk to you about that. Good. Guys, got to follow. Got to follow backyard for sure. He caught a he caught a good one today. Steve, Steve went fishing today. The okay fisherman, he got on one today. I went fishing today. I did. Yeah. And uh, it was rough. And when I'm when I'm talking like rough, usually I have something to follow up with. Like it was rough, but no, it was just rough. I got skunked all day. Not a bite. Couldn't. I couldn't buy one. I could not do it. It was extremely tough. Very windy. Um, new lake, new water, water I'd never been to. Yeah, wind was killer, Kim. You're right. Steve got about a dozen or so. Average going tomorrow. When was 2025 here? Yep. I was about it here, too. It was very tough. I can't. I, like, I, I have a hard time focusing on myself. With that mustache going on. But we're going to work something out. Pontiac, it's snowing, but it's supposed to turn to rain tomorrow. Oh, that's even worse, dude. Ugh. 2023. What Did I say 2023? I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> Kyle, wish I was going fishing. Hi, Lieutenant. Hey, we all got to work, dude. We all got to work. I get that. I don't know why I said 2023. I might have just been talking fast. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, 20. <laughs> get, get it now. <laughs> What's up, Alex? Oh, okay. I got you, dude. Oh, good. Backyard. Yeah, we're going to be hopping on that Facebook live stream soon. And I still need to work out the split screen, split screen webcam. Anybody who's just topped on, sorry for the flickering. It's the 
incandescent lighting and the LED webcam. They they don't work. They don't jive well together. Usually I've got like a studio light up at the store, but because I didn't go to work today with it being New Year's, again, happy New Year's to everybody. Um, that's why I'm here up in my daughter's room, which used to be my gun room slash fishing room. But, you know, kids come first. So that's why we're here. Goals for 2020. I want to hear you guys' goals. Me, you know, I really hope that today was not a foreshadowing for this year for me. <laughs> I'm getting skunked. I was really hoping that I could start the year off with a bang with at least one fish. But I got none. So I can't even say one is better than none because none, there's nothing worse than none. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. I did not catch a thing. What's up, fish and fat man? Happy New Year, brother. I mean, I threw everything today. Everything in my box. Everything in my tackle box, I threw it today and couldn't get it done. Could not get it done. Oh, let's see here. Oh, oh man, oh man. All right, Thomas. 2020 goal is to travel to at least nine new states to fish in. Ooh, I like that goal, dude. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna take some of your guys' goals. Just fair warning. Because I like to expand my arsenal. So I really like that goal. Just organized my gun fishing room, was more gun stuff today. Ooh, okay. Love my guns. Love weapons. I love weapons. Goals to fish. Bad water, bad water lake. Okay, I need to look those up. Bass man, I need to look those up. Backyard, fifteen hundred subscribers is gonna be your goal, dude. So I'm gonna talk about mine. I want you to shoot higher. I want you to shoot higher because this year for me, one of my main goals on YouTube was to hit a thousand subscribers and to get monetized. Not a flex, but I hit that, and I realized that I think what I want to do for this year. I want to shoot high. I want to shoot extremely high. And if I don't hit that goal, it is what it is. But if I shoot for a lower goal, I don't want to become complacent. And I'm not saying that you will. I'm not saying anybody will. But I think that we should shoot for high goals. I think that 100% we should shoot for the freaking stars and try and make it, you know, and try and get something that seems unattainable. For me, I want a double digit bass and I want to hit. <laughs> this is going to sound like a lot. But my goals are double-digit bass and 10,000 subs on YouTube. That's my goal. Will I hit both of those? Probably not. But that is what I'm shooting for. Those are some of my main goals right there. Anthony went fishing. Oh, my goodness. I went yesterday on my lunch. Caught one small one on Ned Rig. That's why I didn't. You know, I did not take a spinning rod today. I did not take a spinning rod. I did throw a shaky head uh, through jigs. I mean, literally Everything that was in my tackle box was thrown today. Big swim baits, deep cranks, shallow cranks, square bills, wiggle warts, Texas rigs, jigs, shaky head. What else was thrown today? A rig was thrown today. Nothing. Could not. Couldn't get it done. Could not get it done. One of those days. Let's see here. Uh, Alex, my goal for 2020 is either land a management position where I live <laughs> or get out of California. Dude, good, good, good freaking goals. Happy New Year, Bass Man. Bent rods skunked out today on the creek. Dude, you and me both, man. Oh, what should I throw for finicky bass? Let me see here. Dude, that, if I knew, I would have caught fish today. That's that's how I see it. You know, I think that today it was just I don't know what I don't know what would have got it done today. I mean, we put stuff right in front of their freaking faces and they did not want to eat. That but that's the name of the game. That's fishing. You cannot always make the fish bite. Um, but what I would say to do is try things that are completely out of your comfort zone and expand your arsenal that way and try and do something that you're not completely comfortable with to get better at it and i mean a lot of the time you're going to throw something that you would never think would work and it might work but that's that's fishing i wish i had a concrete solid answer for you 
on what to <laughs> what to use for finicky bass. But I mean, a lot of the time they're going to say finesse fishing. Um, Tactical bass and just did a really good, a really good video. You know, over going the extremes. You know, big, huge Huddleston swim baits to itty bitty two point eight Kitex. You know, throw one or the other. That's it for winter time. What's up, White Whale? How you doing, bud? Yeah, I would be afraid to go fishing after flipping a boat too. That's that's a fact. But you know, I mean, you got to get back on the water eventually. It, you got to conquer your fears. Average fishing guy, grow that Instagram channel and make my new partner Monster Bass happy with some new subscribers this year. Good, dude. I like it. Fish more and up all your PBs. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see. Oh, Wisconsin, dude. I want. I mean, one of my main goals this year is to 100% travel, travel and fish. That's what I want to do. Let me catch up here. The higher the goal is set, the more accomplishment get more accomplishments get achieved on the way. Thank you, Thomas. That's exactly what I was trying to get at right there. Another goal is for me to get. Oh, dude, that's a yes. The Shearwater 125 as an upgrade for the kayak. Yeah, that's that's a big, big upgrade. I want to. I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep the kayak, get a lighter weight, more mobile kayak, or get a jump boat. That's that's kind of my my main dilemma right now. Is what am I gonna do? Come summertime. Am I going to get a trailer for my kayak right now? Am I going to get one that I can roof load much easier? Because the one I have right now is 90 pounds. And I think they would probably break the little rear spoiler that I have on my... It's like it's more like a lip. It's just a plastic piece on my Explorer. And I think that would break it. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do there. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. 10K and 10 pound, it can be done. 10 pound will definitely be done. That's a fact. And I really think it's going to come out of Oklahoma. Kenneth wants a smallmouth over five. Ooh. <coughs> that would be gigantic. <laughs> gigantic. One of my goals is to catch my first smallmouth this year. I technically caught one last year, but when they're like this big, they don't really count. So I'm not I'm not counting that. If I have to get up and go at any point, it's because I need to go help the wife with getting the kids in bed, just so everybody knows. <clears throat> Tough year for bass and for bass man. Sorry to hear that, dude. It's a new year though. It's a new year, time to get on it. Dude, I yeah. Cali this time of year, everybody's hitting big lakes with deep swim baits. Alex, the okay fisherman, he's actually from Cali. He's the one that kind of got me into throwing big swim baits. So yeah, I've I've heard about that for sure. Head rig. My bait best time of the year. Stick with lipless cranks and don't switch back and forth. <laughs> lipless was thrown today, too. I'll tell you that, man. I know a lot of people swear by the lipless crank, and I still have yet to get one. Still have yet to get one. So let it sit for about 10 seconds. Dude, we were soaking those jigs today, Greg. We were soaking them. I wish, I mean, oh, so many things I wish would have worked today. I'm glad that it worked for you. I just, I mean, today at the lake we were at, again, it was a new lake for me. Um, kind of new lake from a buddy too, one that he doesn't really go to very often. And we were working with trolling motors only. That wind was just killing, absolutely killing. It was, it was pretty tough. Okay. Let's see here. Garlic spray. <laughs> All right. White whale set up new tackle video room, fish six new lakes in Indiana from the kayak, new smallmouth PB. Meet up and fish with other content creators and improve the video production content. Dude, I like that. Good goals, White Whale. Very good goals. I like that. Yeah, Anthony, that, yeah. That video was good. John Boat, I know. What's up, Hank? How you doing, bud? John Boat killer, <laughs> kayak killer all the way. Dude, I know. 
I'm I'm figuring it out. Better kayak or John boat. I'm figuring it out. Trevor, what's up? Happy New Year's. Everyone's telling me to get a John boat. <laughs> there we go, Bass Man. Get a trailer. Yep. I do. I do need a trailer for sure. Truck and boat. Nice. I like that's that's a good goal. Very good goal. Door County, Wisconsin for giant smallmouth is no joke. I'll have to make a trip up north. I mean, I, I really want to get up north and make some trips up there. Make a tiny bass boat. Oh, yeah, the Tiny Boat Nation. Yeah, I, <laughs> I've i I've looked into all of that. Looked into all of that. And really, I mean, me and my father-in-law, I mean, he could definitely help me out with doing all of that. I just got to figure out which way I'm going to go. You know, am I – because – one of my original goals was to get into, you know, kayak tournaments. And if I'm going to get into kayak tournaments, I either need to keep the one that I've got or I need to get one that is more mobile, but also either some kind of motor or pedal drive. Because these guys out here, they're jetting off to their places and their spots first. It's a race. I mean, just like a regular tournament. So I need to figure that out. Can, yeah, I know. Sky took. Yep. Um, also pump back. I don't know if you've been to pump back, but I've heard really good things about pump back too. Kenneth. John boats are really pretty cheap, but you can customize them. Yes. Yep. And that's, I mean, yeah, well, we just talked about that, you know, the tiny boat nation making a, a mini bass boat for sure. Again, sorry about the flickering guys. Airbrushing baits with a new airbrush kit. Nice dude. Yeah. I've, I've thought about that and I just, I mean, I, I can't, I can't do it. I don't have the patience for it. My dad, I should get my dad into that. My dad is very artistic. He's a graphic designer, but he makes a lot of stuff. He actually made uh for us for Christmas, by the way, Merry Christmas, everybody, you know, cause we weren't on last week because it was Christmas and that would just be dumb, but Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, but my dad makes a lot of stuff, um, woodworking, painting, clay, all kinds of stuff. I should get him into that. I should make him paint me some baits. What's up, Frank? You get both kayak and a John boat. That would be nice. That would definitely be nice. Yeah, and I'm I'm not going out to North Cal, dude. There's there's no way. I'm not. No. If I'm going out there, I'm gonna be going because somebody has me out there. That's that's it. I've never been to California. I'm not in a rush to get to California. It's nothing against it. But so far out there, I'm just, I'm not in a rush. Unless it's to fish. That's it. Oh, let's see here. Yep. Need a motor or pedal drive for kayak tournaments. Hey, there's John. What's up, Oki? Oh, let's see here. With an old Zebco trout rod. He was using bacon and catching bass with it. <laughs> using bacon. Dude would catch me with some bacon. I love bacon. Absolutely. What's up, Two Hooked? How you doing? Yeah, I know. Oki took forever to show up. Oh, he's just saying hi to everybody. What's up, North Fork? Dude, I wanna I'm a, I was waiting for you to hop on because I want to talk about something here. What did I where did I put that? Where did I put that? So, Old North Fork posted something up today, and uh, I went and watched it on my way home from the lake. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Absolutely. Who has seen, or who watches Millican Fishing, and who has seen the video that he put out talking about how Guggen Bates may have ripped off six cents baits who's checked that video out yet what's up jake okay so yep frank called it right there goon squad getting called six cents copycats sent it that's what it, yeah i thought you put it on your instagram too okay yep so Ooh, touchy subject, right? Touchy subject. And I think that's a touchy subject because 
um, you know, when their soft baits came out, the big thing going around was, you know, they ripped off, what was it, uh, Striking, the Rage Tail, you know, the Phalange, or maybe not ripped it off, but did they use the patent? Did they buy the patent? Did they borrow the patent? I don't know. Now, when I started out, I was a huge Guggen Bait fanboy. You guys know this about me. I've talked about it plenty of times. But when it comes to the hard baits, this, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty cut and dry, right, right there. Pretty cut and dry. And, you know, Milliken, the way that he talked about it, I, I got nothing but respect for the dude because, you know, he terminated his contract with Catch Co., with Mystery Tackle Box, because of the blatancy that they did with copying hard baits from Six Cents. And it's not just copying hard baits from Six Cents, but they actually met with the CEO from Six Cents. They talked about the like the baits were shown to them. And if you haven't seen the video on Milliken Fishing, you need to go check it out. You have to go check it out. I don't even care if you hop off right now and go watch it. But it's pretty cut and dry. It's pretty freaking blatant. And the reason I like I respect Milliken so much because he canceled his contract with them, it kind of makes me think of back when, you know, I canceled MTB because I thought Monster Bass was a better choice in the subscription box. And I 100% think that it blackballed me. And, I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm always going to be real. I'm always going to be exactly how I am right now. That's how I'm going to be. I'm not going to go and, you know, kiss another company's ass, you know, just to try and get up there higher in this YouTube fishing community because fads, fads go away. Like, I've been in this nutrition industry for so long and I've seen the fad diets come. I've seen the fad diets go. I've seen the pyramid schemes come and go. And I really do think that these fads that are out there are going to go away. Which, when John and I get back together next week for our live, you guys don't want to miss that. Because we're going to talk about a lot of stuff that has to deal with that. And has to deal with social media. But whatever. I'm, I'm not going to ruin the surprise for you guys. But, uh, uh, let's see here. I'm going to catch up really quick. Try and catch up. Try and catch up. Hey, when when do you go fishing? Huh? Okay, so they paid to use the patent on the soft base. Thank you, Mark. Mark. Appreciate that. Cousin Eddie, what's up, dude? Welcome to the channel, man. I appreciate it very much. Okay, so Strike King makes them as a rebrand Guggen. Okay, okay, okay. When do you go fishing again? Do Jake, I went today. I'm going to try and go again this weekend. I'm going to try and go again this weekend. So, um, Oki said, I have a Yamamoto square bill. It looks almost identical to Six Cents and Guggen's. Like Greg said, there's only so many ways you can make them. Oki, you got to go watch the video, dude. It does explain a lot. It's not so much that they copied the look, but it seems like there was a lot more involved with the copying of the look, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I just jumped way ahead. Okay. Um, let's see here. Kenneth, I'm a big six cents guy. Bassman, I saw yours. I just, I mean, I'm just telling you what, what I know so far. I'm not, I'm not ignoring you, just so you know. Big six cents guy that I have mostly, or either multi subscription. I used to watch him looking a lot, but met him and he was actually a jerk. <laughs> no, I, I agree with that. I think the guy can be a jerk 100%. And when I say I respect him, I respect him for sticking to his guns and sticking to what he says that he's going to do on his channel. Um, but, yeah, I can absolutely see that the dude can be a jerk in person. I mean, I think, I think when you put yourself out here on this platform, you have to realize that people are going to want to talk to you. 
People are going to want to meet you. People are going to want to spend time talking with you. And if you're not up for that, you need to let people know from the jump. That's, that's another thing I'm going to talk about at another time. Nora Fork, by the way, I'm, I'm, I meant to reply to you, but then we had to hop on here. So uh, there he is right there. Casey was meeting with the Googans to talk about designing their hard baits. Then they did that. Like Oki just said, that comment right there. Because at least patents of so companies can use them, use it, but the baits are still different in the market. It's so competitive. So no surprise companies will copy baits but have similar layouts. True. Get blackballed daily. People either love me for being honest and blown about or they hate me because. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the club, bro. Yeah, and actually, that was Bassman. He talks about that, how Sixth Sense actually changed um, a factory because of designs getting stolen. Yeah, you, you got to watch the video. It's He's got a lot more information on it than, than I do. I'm not, like I said, I was, I was listening to it when I was driving, and I'm not a uh, an expert. <laughs> I'm not an expert on this whole situation, but... Again, it's just it's subject conversation. It's going to be going around quite a bit now, uh, especially you know with a guy like Milliken putting it out there. And I think that there's going to be a lot of blowback because of that, which is going to lead into next week's conversation. Again, it's going to be totally worth it. It's going to be a good one. I'm probably going to rant like crazy, and I'm going to need Oki there to calm me down, bring me back. You commented on it, your opinion wasn't popular. Bro, see, that's what I need to do. I need to get on there and start commenting on people's stuff. Um, I'm getting a phone call right now. Copied every detail of the baits. 100%. Porcent? 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 Like porcelain? Percent. Yeah, looks like they copied the whole lineup. That's a fact. Waiting for the Banjo Mill Rebirth. Dude, that would be awesome. Oh, Bent Rod. I hate to break it to you, dude, but I'm not Team Lojo. Not Team Lojo at all. Not Team Lojo, and don't hate me for it. Don't hop off because of that, but I am not Team Lojo at all. So that's that's a whole nother... Oki would tell me to shut up right now because I'm not going to get into that. Not doing it, not doing it, not falling for it. I will not. My goodness, I keep getting this phone call right now. You gotta tell me, call me back. Call me back, bruh. Bent Rods, Milliken is all clickbait. Dude, some of his stuff is clickbait. I will, well, that explains why you don't like Milliken, because you're Team Lojo. They had a beef going on, didn't they? God, some of these guys and their, like, their social media and their YouTube beefs and like all this stuff. What happened to the good old days when you meet up and you hash it out man to man, face to face? Instead, everybody wants to hop on and type their words and argue over text. And uh, it's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let's see here. Zoombait had their design copied by a Japanese bait company that even uses Zoombait name. Ooh. That's good to know, Frank. I did not know that. Did not know that at all. Let's see here. Dude, thank you, Backyard. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Norfolk, right there. I've actually had my back and forth with Milliken a few times, but you have to respect the honesty. That's what I'm talking about. I respect the honesty. I respect the realness. I respect him being 100%. And being true to that, now, could it also be a little bit because he is so tied in with Sixth Sense? That's why he wants to go out there and say, they did this, I canceled my con, or, you know, ended my contract with Catch Co. Because he is so bought into the Sixth Sense. That's where things get a little fishy, you know? And it's, it's you don't you don't really know, like, was the video just to call out the Googans? And call out Catchco, or was the video to also push the agenda that he is so much with Sixth Sense that that's what you have to go with because that's what Milliken says. 
That's another thing that you should deal with on YouTube. Full Armor, what's up, brother? How you doing? Never thought about doing a meetup at the lakes close to Tulsa. Oh, I just jumped all the way down. Yes. Kenneth, okay, we have absolutely talked about that. Talked about doing a meetup. Um, as far as the tournament goes, I, I again, I've talked about this before, and I'm not the best with organization things. So if someone were to set up a tournament, then yeah, absolutely. And I'd be there. But as far as me setting it up, I don't know the first thing about it. I don't know the first thing about it. Maybe that's a goal for 2020. Maybe that's one of my goals is to try and do that, try and set that up. Maybe that's a good idea. Dude, yeah, good thinking, dude. Good thinking. I like I like where your head's at. What's up, Sean? Happy New Year's, man. Let's see here. Any tips for the next Monster Bash showdown? Because I'm going to be in it. Dude, who are you, who are you going against? Uh, that, that would be the first thing is who you're going against. But any tips for the next Monster Bash showdown? Are you talking about, if you're talking about the January box, it's going to be a Strike King box. So you should be 100% solid <laughs> on catch and stuff. I love Strike King. But um, I think my tips for that, when John and I did that and I fished against uh, Mikey Mosier, you know, Sawgrass Bass, and when I fished against him, what I did is I knocked out the easiest baits first. I thought I was going to do the hardest baits first, but you spend up you end up spending a lot more time trying to knock out your less confident bait or the harder baits. So I switched up and I went with the easiest ones, the ones that I knew I could knock out very first. And then because you, you think about it, if you're going against somebody that you're not fishing there against, you don't know what kind of time limit they're on. And if you end up with more fish, then you win that, that showdown. So let's see here. Let me jump back up. Let me jump back up. Okay. Listen, I'm not trying to do dishes. I'm trying to do dishes. <laughs> it's all good, North Fork. Bent Rod, why no Lojo? Oh, I don't really want to get into a rant on this but when you have someone that so I, i'm prior military service i was in the army i was airborne infantry um but when he got into his little altercation with you know the angry guy or the drunk guy when he was fishing with norm and noah um bath or kicking their bass tv when there's a dude prior service that wants to flex on somebody and say, I was infantry, bro, army infantry. That irks me a bit. That irks me a bit. So you need to handle yourself as a professional. And on top of that, we've had some personal communication back and forth before. And he was pretty much a, a dick to me. And for no reason, you know, when you put yourself out there and you say you want to help people out and if people have questions this is when I first started again this year and you want to one word or not help whatsoever, then I got a problem with that. And I'm just not a fan because he does a lot of challenges and he does a lot of stuff for views, which I respect the dude and his hustle. I respect the guy and his YouTube hustle. He knows what he's doing. 100% knows what he's doing, but I didn't feel that he was staying completely true to a fishing channel. That's why I don't like Lojo. That's why I'm not team Lojo. That's, that's, that's about it, you know, without getting to the personal stuff. So, but makes for good con makes good content. Let's see here. Psycho fishing and hunting, small fishing channel. Hope someone sees this and helps me reach 75 subs. There you go, dude. There you go. How's trout fishing in your area? Um, <sighs> trout fishing, there's rivers. There's some rivers here that have them. But there is a little pond. They call it like, I think they call it Veterans Park. It's like a park pond. But they stock it from December to February. I actually did my first trout fishing, I think it was last week. Yeah, last week. Um, caught one on an inline spinner. But, I mean, it's pretty much cat fishing for trout. They eat power bait. Um Caught about seven between two of us and took them home, cooked them up. First time catching and cooking trout. Loved it. I want to go out there and actually catch them on lures rather than catfishing for trout. But it's all right. It's not great, but it's all right. Let 
what other fishing is hot there? Do crappie? I, I missed that second part of your question. Crappie is huge here. Um, sand bass or white bass, hybrids, striper. Um, if you like snagging, go out and snag some spoonbill, catfish. Duh. Okies, chime in. Tell them what I don't know. <laughs> Tell them what I don't know. Let's see here. Milliken should have used other control lures when comparing six cents to the Guggen stuff. He only did it for the lipless, which isn't a good look, but hey, good for him. Yeah, I get that in this. I get that, Chris. 100 percent He did cut open one other of the uh I think it was a booyah. A booyah lipless. He did cut that open. But yeah, I mean he didn't he didn't go in there and uh you know open up the actual cranks. But again, it's it's kind of like, I mean, like Oki said, or I think someone else said it as well, a square bill is a square bill. A medium diving crankbait is a medium diving crankbait. Why not take one of the H2O Express and compare it to a Guggenbait? You know, or take an H2O Express and compare it to a Strike King. There's a lot of that. So again, like I said, was there an ulterior motive there? Was it to push the... The Sixth Sense agenda, probably so. But I think it was also 100% calling out the blatant copycatting that goes on. Very blatant. And I think because you think about it, like, I think uh, the Guggens even said, you know, they designed these things. They designed even their jigs. You're talking about they designed their jigs. And just the other day, I can't remember the name, but, I mean, it was a jig that – a company that's been out a lot longer than the Guggens and the jig head looked identical to the juice jig. So I don't know if the designing part goes into looking at others and designing them that way. But when it's portrayed that you've come up with this idea yourself, that's when it's a bit of a problem. Let's see here. Okay, let me catch up. Lojo fishing challenges every time, and ninety percent of the time it's Walmart. Okay, fisherman doesn't like Lojo either. Not at all. Let's see here. Oh man, oh man, I'm, I'm way, way far behind. Okay. So many gimmicks with a lot of YouTube fishing clickbait guys. Why watch Alex Rod, Mikey Balls? Yep, exactly. I mean, now again, there's nothing against those guys. I have nothing against them wanting to do that. It's not my style because when I got into fishing, I wanted to learn about fishing and I wanted to use YouTube. YouTube is how we learn these days. This is this is our tool right here. YouTube is our tool. So when I wanted to learn about stuff, I didn't want to go and watch somebody that was you know. Let me teach you about catching fish with a $5 Walmart kit. It wasn't it wasn't for me. But again, you got to respect their hustle because those dudes know what they're doing. And they're doing stuff that's going to get views and going to get them paid. So I respect the hustle 100%. May not like the person, but I respect the hustle. Favorite rods are getting some views these days. I wonder what you mean by views. <laughs> Favorite rods has gotten a yeah they took a lot took a lot of stuff. Next Coogan trick a copy of Favorite Rods. Ooh, you might be onto something there, Frank. You might be onto something for sure. North Fork, I'm reading you. Yep, I get that. I get that. Get into iCast, dude. That'll be funny. Cousin Eddie, do it. I'm down. Yep. Talking about the fishing meetup, absolutely. I think that's a good. I think it's a good thing to make happen this year as a meetup. You know, at least a meetup. Um, a guy, another guy around here, Bay Boy Bass, and he's done a meetup before. I might have to meet up with him and see how he see how he got it done. Let's see here, Bass Man. No, I didn't. And the only reason I did not get any of the Speed Demon rods, I have one of the Speed Demon rods. I have a Speed Demon Pro as well, and I have one of the Royal Legends. Um, as far as rods go, I am 100% set. I don't need any more. I just got a couple of new favorite rods. Um, I actually need a couple new reels. 
Honestly, my casking reels are kind of crapping out on me. So, let's see here. Bass whooping, what's up? Happy New Year's, dude. The Rage Ned. Yeah. They're, like, their whole, like, the punch bug and, like, the baby bug and just, I mean, yeah, like, Strike King's got a lot of good stuff coming out. I think they're a little, they're a little behind on the whole Ned Rig trend. You know, that really kind of took off this year, but I think their stuff is going to be absolutely absolutely awesome uh, i think as far as ned rigs go i really think that when it comes to anything that's gonna stand up um excite baits because they don't put a lot of salt in their stuff and uh x zone x zone makes really really good baits <laughs> alex the only people buying Guggen baits in my area are 17 year old Lifted truck <laughs> bros with UFC shirts. Who even wears Affliction shirts anymore? That's funny. Would you be willing to donate anything for a friend that is struggling to make ends meet? Big dreaming. Um, I would love someone to donate to me. Struggling to make ends meet. Business is shutting down. So yeah, donate. Donate for sure. That's what I had to say about that. Frank. Frank said, North Fork, I got some rage bugs. They look pretty cool. You have to let us know how they work. Bent rod, absolutely, man. I mean, I that's another thing. I don't go out there talking about my service. There's other YouTubers out there that want to, you know, mention that they're in the Army or they were in the Army, you know, five-plus times in their video. We get it. We get it. You know who I'm talking about. Again, don't have a personal beef with the dude, but some of his videos I got a problem with. So I've talked to him a couple times. Cool dude, but Bassman, former army. 12 Bravo. Okay. All right. I see you. Hank Snow. Yes, absolutely, man. Thank, thank you, brother. Thank you very much. I was actually third of the 509th up in Anchorage, Alaska, Fort Richardson. That's where I was at. Amazon has the Ned Bates by Strike King. Nice. Um, No, Bassman. I have not seen the Lunker City Helgramite Ned Rigs. I have not seen those at all. Again, I did Ned Rigs like during the summer. And I was really into them. And I haven't thrown one since. I've been power fishing. I, Who was I talking to the other day? I was talking to... I think it might have been Kyle on Instagram. Buddy on Instagram. I was talking to him, talking about how this year I went from power fishing to finesse fishing back to power fishing. And now I've got to find that balance or go back to finesse fishing, especially with it being so cold. Kind of like Backyard was talking about, you know, he was fishing a jig today on fish that he caught and let it sit for 10 seconds. I don't know. I mean, I gotta I gotta recondition myself to go back to finesse fishing and slow it back down. It's like I can't do both. I have to do one or the other. And I'm straight power fishing right now and I gotta I gotta get back to it. What's up, River Fishers? How you doing, buddy? Let's see here. North Fork. I see I see you there. <laughs> Strat a stock trout here in the spring. You won't catch a bass until June after they dang, that's pretty nice. I can handle that. Yeah, Frank talking about okay. Oh man, I'm I think I'm way behind here. Fishing fat man. Whoa, whoa, we fell way behind. Um I need 24 subs to hit 100 subs. Hope it doesn't take too long, 2020 to get them. There's your shout out, bro. I got you. I will read comments. <laughs> Or fork. I mean, I've, I'll read your comments, but some, you know, like if people are talking to people, I'm not going to read their comments. Just so everyone knows. Don't, don't be upset. Let's see here. Bandito bug I threw was too soft or way too easily. Dude, I mean, that, that was one thing that we learned along the way. When I say we, I'm talking about me and John. We learned along the way this year. Um, but, I mean, you can't hate on them. Like, the dudes are absolute business-minded geniuses. 
they people buy their baits. The marketing is on point. The names are on point. The colors they come up with, the names of the colors they come up with, uh, they're good. They're 100% good. But yes, they're absolutely too soft and tore way too easily. 100%. I promise you that all day. Me and John were actually talking about it. Like, I mean, I, I like the Magnum size Rage Bug, the four and a half inch. That the day that I had like the uh, the video for the December feeding frenzy, I think I had the same bait on there for at least ten fish. That plastic held up, and the four and a half inch just held up a lot better than the four inch. That extra half inch, a little more width to the bait itself, so it was a little more durable. Steve, I'll see you, man. Let's see here. People will do anything for clout in a chain. That's a fact, dude. Yeah, no, North Fork, I agree with you 100%. Every once in a while, it's fun and it's nice to break in to do something like a challenge video. I, I get that, but you, you under, I mean, I covered that. I covered that because, I mean, I'll do a challenge video. I've done challenge videos, but it still has to do with fishing and not going out there and shopping. Yes, I am up. I'm the upstairs cubby. I'm in Lexi's room, which used to be, you know, my gun room and my fishing room, and now is my daughter's room, and I'm surrounded by girly stuff, almost a teenage girly stuff. I think the rods will look similar to something else. One hundred percent. I think that uh, I'm trying to think of who they would copy. Uh, yeah, I I don't know. Who knows what they're going to do? Not copy. That's the wrong. I shouldn't say copy. I wonder who they're going to be influenced by for their rod design. That's what I meant to say. Who will they be influenced for or by for their rod design? Matt, what is up? Have, happy New Year's, dude. Uh, let's see. Babe, what's your buddy? Okay. Heck yeah, dude. That's nice. Matt, yeah, dude, yeah. Actually, the uh, last, what was it, last last fishing video? Yeah, caught a four-pounder in the last fishing video, the actual fishing one. So, yeah, <laughs> caught a couple over over three pounds. Oh, Oki coming in. Okay, see, I'm, I'm way behind here. Airborne Soldier, what's up, dude? Haven't heard from you in a while. And you went and bought fishing stuff? Yes, that absolutely counts. Absolutely counts. Falcon Rods and Daiwa Tatula? Is that what you think they're... Yeah, I mean... It does definitely remind me... The one that I saw in, you know, Rackley's video, it definitely reminded me of a uh, of a falcon. Of a buku. Is what it reminded me of. Yes, Matt... <laughs> oh, I just saw a comment. Someone had a, uh, let's see here. Had my first problem with the lose reel. Ooh, uh-oh, lose problems. Yikes. And I say that because I'm, I, I don't use lose. I just like to mess around with people that are team lose. Because team lose is like die hard. Team lose are, those dudes... They don't, man, they don't mess around. Their team lose, their team lose. They do, don't you use anything. Don't you talk bad about lose. You can't do that. Oh, uh, yeah, North Fork, I, I know. Like, X-Zone, X-Zone lures are awesome. Their soft baits are absolutely great. Thank you, Full Armor. I appreciate you, dude. Yeah, found the balance. Exactly. F swim in the Texas rig, that is my balance of power and finesse. 100%. It's pretty much a finesse chatterbait. Think about it that way. Do, do, do. Yeah, prefer cranking for reaction bites. I mean, I'm, I used to not do crankbaits at all, and now I, I love them 100%. Airborne Soldier, want to learn and experiment with new lures and tactics. I, I scrolled way down and I had to catch back up there. Dude, that's that was 
that's what this year was for me. And I, I loved it. I wouldn't change anything about this year. I want to keep learning. One one hundred percent keep learning. They use the raised design and the same plastic as the Yamamoto plastic, so they tear easy. That makes sense, Frank. Makes a lot of sense. Matt said they're just too expensive, just like the Tightline UV seven nine at Walmart for a four pack. Oh yeah, for the Guggen baits. Yep. Do I still use Logic baits? Absolutely not. I do not use Logic baits. I think I actually went on to a live stream and talked about why I'm not with Logics anymore. I don't use Logics. I will not support Logics. No. Not at all. That company is, no, trash. Don't support them. Will not. Don't. I have some of their frogs. I'll give them away to somebody in town. I'm not going to ship the frogs out. Sorry. Maybe I'll have them on the... It's not because they're bad. It's just I'm not going to support the company. They're just not... They're not... I don't, I don't like them. Bentrod, I want to... I'm ready to start pouring my own baits. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. I cannot do that. River Fishers, never used a Guggen bait, mainly because everyone was, and I've never been a follower, and I'm confident my other baits will work just as well. Good. Good for you. I thought you'd like that save more fork. <laughs> well, let's see here. Matt just got the SLX DC. Dude, my buddy uh, Steve, the OK Fisherman, he had to hop off, but he just got that as well. I'm pretty pumped to see that in person. I've got a couple of, uh, OK, hold up here. Kenneth, phone's about to die. Catch you on the next one, brother. Um, I've got two D, two SLXs now, just regular SLX, not the DC, um, <clears throat> because I can pretty much buy two for the price of one DC. So, but a big fan of the SLX, big big fan. I actually don't like using some of my other reels except for my thirteen because the SLX feels so good in the hand. Du, du, du. <laughs> <laughs> shut up river fishers let's see okay said i'm team whatever fits in my budget yes that's a fact not opposed to using other reels at corrado dc wasn't for me yep see i mean i think it's i even though there's so much hype behind the dc i 100 believe that it is personal preference um not just personal preference, but you got to think about longevity as well. I think longevity goes into a big, a big part of when you're buying fishing tackle, fishing equipment, the rods, the reel. What is going to last long? Are you buying the flash? Or are you buying what's going to last long? That's that's the big question there. Let's see. My other goal for for other goal is to catch my first small. I never caught one before, dude. That's one of mine. Like I said, I mean, I caught one that was like this big, but I don't count it. But I do want to get on smallies this year, 100%. See, Matt, now I've had I've had one or two lose. Uh, I've actually had two lose. One was a Bass Pro qualifier, which I just shipped out um, to Jason. Jason's not on, but shipped out to him. And I'm 100% more of a fan of Shimano. Absolutely. But I mean, I'm a fan of 13 fishing too. That concept Z is absolutely fire. So yes. And full armor just ordered one and he used my link. So thanks again, full armor. I appreciate that, man. That does help me out. Let's see. Logics was trash. We didn't want to offend you. <laughs> yeah. Logics is trash. 100%. I got sucked into that. It was back when I'm well, I've, I've covered that. Me and Oki have covered that in a live stream before, so I don't need to beat a dead horse. Uh, let's see. SLX XT is Amazon DC isn't worth... Amazon DC... Or wait, is Amazon. The DC isn't worth the extra money for me at this time. I get that. Oh, amazing. Not Amazon. Get that. Uh, let's see here. Digital control, yeah. Completely understand it, exactly. 100%. Let's see, Norfolk, I caught my first smaller last year. Maybe I want to start chasing them. Dude, I've, I hear, I've I've heard tell of the smallie fight, 100%. Shimano is your favorite real company. Frank, I get it. Let's see here. Bassman Strikes, he's got some videos over smallies. 
Kyle said smallies for life. <laughs> River fishers, I've only used budget rods before, but I got Naboo. Spinning rod that is amazing and lose my first bait caster, but that's about to change. Jeez, someone's taking their lose back. <laughs> no, and lose was my very first one too, man. And um, I'll tell you this much. Um, the lose, I just I couldn't get it dialed in. Now, John has a lose. He's got a uh, speed spool or a laser speed spool, one of those. Um, and I've casted that one, and it is 100% smooth. So I think that the lose issue that I first had was 100% me as all operator. So I'm not knocking lose. It's just because I could never get them dialed in. I was never comfortable with them. And since then, I've found different ones. So that's that's why I choose not to be team lose. I just don't understand needing a DC if you know how to use a bait caster. Dude, I mean, that's the thing about the DC. There is there I don't know the whole technical specs, you know, and I don't know. I don't know, dude. You know. <sighs> Casting distance, maybe? Not backlashing into the, you know, 25 mile an hour wind like I did today, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I did see my buddy's DC backlash today. So, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, any any river fish, dude. Any river fish. I mean, living in that current. Like, I mean, Alex Rudd catching those largies out of the river. I mean, they fight different. Living in the current all their life fighting current like that, they're going to fight a lot harder and be a lot more fun to catch. Let's see here. What do... Okay, hold up. Mm -hmm. Oki said, I'm not much of a DC fan, to be honest, as noted. Meh. Now the idea of ripping stupid long cast appeals to me, but not at a cost. Yes, I get that, but I have seen I've seen the SLX cast just about as far as a DC, a Corrado. Um, and my buddy's got a Metanium. It's not a DC, but a Metanium. Um, but again, I think it comes down to the longevity, the life of the reel. The Metanium has been around for a long time. The Corrado has been around for a long time. My father-in-law in particular, he's got... 30 Corrados, not one is a DC, but he's got 30 Corrados and he's been fishing all of his life. And that's the only reel that he will ever use 100%. Um, he doesn't really agree with me having something that's not a Corrado, but that's what he knows. And the guy knows fishing. So, I mean, I, I trust him. And I think, again, it comes down to longevity of the reel. Um, me, I like to change stuff up and I like to try different things out. So I'm not going to spend 250 to 190 bucks on a reel that I know I'm eventually probably going to swap out for something different. I think that's where I fall into the whole thing of not wanting a DC is I don't want to buy something that I'm eventually going to switch out, you know, for that much money. What do, oh man, I skipped way down. I hate this whole pop up chat. What do you think about the wind grips? Ah, uh, you know, I don't. I've got one reel that's got the wind grips, but I really prefer the Shimano grips. That you, the purchase you get on a Shimano grip, I, I don't think there's anything better. I don't think there's anything better. I love that. That's for me, one hundred percent. Do 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 do. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> they still backlash. <laughs> I know. Uh, oh, I know, I know. Let's see here. Been bird nesting since 1999. <laughs> That's awesome, Rod. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just 400, 500 bucks for a reel. Yeah, that's the one I want, too. No, definitely not. Not for me. But... I mean, my buddy that has one, he 100%, he, he knows, he's like, I mean, do I need this? No, but I wanted it. And if you can get it and you want it, more power to you. Bro, if you've got 400 bucks to spend on a reel and you've got that kind of change, go for it. 
I respect that 100% because that is probably one of the most coveted reels for all the people that hate them. I don't care. It's still a coveted reel. It's a $500 reel, $400 reel. It's a freaking metanium. If someone was to offer you a metanium, would you turn it down? I wouldn't. I wouldn't care if it was DC or not. I'd be like, yeah, give me that metanium. I might sell it. I might keep it. But, yeah, I would 100% take one. Let's catch back up here. Let's see here. Buy and sell rods, reels, tie. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. See, but Norfolk likes lose because he knows lose. That's what, that's what I'm getting at right there. Oh, on the rods, not the reels. Bro, sorry. We've been talking about reels. Um, eh, I've got one that's got the wind grips on there. And I mean, I actually had a uh, a Johnny Morris. You know, it's not the it's not the wind grip really, but the carbon light. And I did not like it as much as the EVA foam or the cork. That's that's me. I prefer I prefer those. That's just what I'm used to. Oh, uh, let's see here. See, fish and fat man right there. I'm 53 years old, never used a bait caster. I've never seen where I couldn't fish because I didn't have a bait caster. Exactly. 100%. There's nothing wrong with Zebco 33. Nothing wrong with a spinning reel over a bait caster. There's, there's a place for absolutely every single one of those. I tried to be cheap with my reels, but a couple years later, here I am buying Shimano. Dude, I did the same thing. I did the same thing starting out, but I didn't want to go spend a bunch of money with my first bait casting reel, so I did buy cheap. But now that I'm comfortable, I'm 100% going to buy a mid-range, not a top tier, a mid-range. That's what I'm going to do. You know, I, I'm going to... I got to gotta disagree with you there bass man over getting better control of the bait caster versus spinning i gotta disagree man i mean there are guys out there that can you know use nothing but a spinning reel and outfish people 100 so i think that it's 100 experience and what you're comfortable with respectively disagree that's just that's just how i am you know no nope, matt said nope <laughs> All right, River Fishers is out. Oh, guys, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. I got to get, I got to get off. I got to go. I just said almost said go home, but I need to go make dinner. That's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do. Whoa, man, everyone's chiming in, guys. I gotta get out of here. Can't skip, dude. Do you have to skip though? Is it that necessary to skip? That's, the, I mean, like, see, now you're pulling me into something. No, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. Can you skip with a spinning reel? Maybe I'll make a video about skipping with a spinning reel. I'm going to pull out my spinning tackle and learn how to skip with a spinning reel. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Oh, man. <laughs> Everyone makes you look cool. <laughs> You should have seen Oki skipping for the first time. He looked really cool picking up that backlash. But then I think I threw into a tree and lost a lure. So we were both really cool that way. <laughs> oh, Bassman coming in. Skip with spinning and wacky rig. Uh-oh, everyone's coming in. All right, I got I got to stop this. <laughs> I got to stop this. This is killing me. This is killing me. All right, guys. I'm out of here. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> Thanks for cheering me up on a day where I didn't catch any fish. Now I'm going to go cook dinner and make sure that the kids are in bed. So, thanks for being here, guys. I got I got I got to go. I got to I got to end it. I hate to stop this when you guys are all talking with each other, but I've got to. I will see y'all later. Someone's on Instagram. So just go back and watch the video and find out who is who was wanting the shout out on Instagram because I, I missed it. I think I missed it. Oh, River Fishers. River Fishers on Instagram. See you guys later. Appreciate you guys. I will see y'all later. Happy New Year. Be safe. 
Let's crush some goals. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Peace.